Kamakya Temple is a revered shrine located in the Indian state of Assam. Known for its association with the goddess Kamakya, the temple is one of the most important pilgrimage sites for Hindus. It is a place of great spiritual significance, attracting visitors from all over India and beyond. In this video, we will explore some of the fascinating facts about Kamakya Temple. One of the most unique traditions observed at Kamakya Temple is the Ambubachi Mela, which is celebrated every year in June. During this four-day festival, the temple is closed to devotees, as it is believed that the goddess Kamakya goes through her annual menstrual cycle. The festival attracts thousands of pilgrims from across India and beyond, and it is a time of great religious fervor and spiritual devotion. The Ambubachi Mela is an unusual festival, unlike any other in the world, and it is steeped in ancient myth, legend, and tradition. According to Hindu mythology, Kamakya Temple is believed to be the place where Lord Shiva carried the corpse of his wife, goddess Sati, while mourning her death. It is said that the goddess's uterus fell at the spot where the temple now stands, and thus Kamakya is known as the Yoni Peeth, or place of the vulva. Every year during the monsoon season, the goddess is believed to undergo her annual menstrual cycle, and the temple is closed for three days to mark the occasion. The temple reopens on the fourth day, and an elaborate ritual is performed to signify the end of the goddess's menstrual cycle. The Ambubachi Mela is one of the most important festivals in the region, and it is celebrated with great fervor and devotion. The festival symbolizes the idea of renewal and rejuvenation, as the goddess's menstruation is seen as a time of purification and renewal in the cosmic cycle of creation and destruction. During the festival, the temple is decorated with flowers, and the air is filled with the sounds of chanting and devotional music. Devotees flock to the temple to offer their prayers and seek blessings from the goddess. It is believed that the goddess's blessings bestowed during this period are especially powerful and auspicious. Thousands of devotees from all parts of India and abroad come to attend the festival and take part in the rituals. The festival provides an opportunity for spiritual seekers and devotees to connect with the divine and experience the power of the goddess Kamakya. During the Ambubachi Mela, the temple complex is adorned with flowers, and devotees offer various types of offerings, including sweets, flowers, coconuts, and other symbolic items. The temple authorities also organize various cultural programs and events to mark the occasion. The main ritual of the Ambubachi Mela is the taking of the tantric water that is believed to have the power to cure diseases and grant wishes. The water is collected from a small spring inside the temple complex and is distributed among the devotees. The festival is also famous for the presence of the sadhus and tantrics, who come from across India to participate in the festival. The sadhus are holy men who lead an ascetic life and typically wear saffron-colored robes and have long beards and hair. They are an integral part of the festival and perform various rituals and ceremonies during the festival. So, dear friends, the Ambubachi Mela is an ancient and unique festival that celebrates the menstruation of the goddess Kamakya. The festival is a time of great spiritual significance and attracts thousands of devotees from across India and beyond. The rituals and ceremonies performed during the festival symbolize the idea of renewal and rejuvenation, and the festival offers a unique opportunity for spiritual seekers and devotees to connect with the divine and experience the power of the goddess Kamakya. The Ambubachi Mela is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Indian spirituality, culture, and tradition. Dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed learning about the Kamakya Temple and the unique festival of Ambubachi Mela. The temple is an ancient and sacred site in India and is believed to be the place where Lord Shiva carried the corpse of his wife, Goddess Sati. The temple is dedicated to Goddess Kamakya and is considered to be one of the most powerful and sacred places in India. I hope you found this video informative and inspiring. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.